Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel again, Balloon Dude 19. I'm Stretch the Balloon Dude, and today we're going to make a really cute Easter bunny. Easter is coming up just around the corner. Well, it doesn't have to be an Easter bunny, it can be whatever bunny you want, but with Easter coming up, you're probably going to start getting requests for bunnies. This one, as you can see, is a bit large. It uses a 360, but it's really not super complicated. It doesn't take terribly long, but it really has a huge wow factor, as you can see. It's really cute. So grab your balloons and a pump, and let's get ready to have some fun. Now we're going to start off with our Lilac 360, and as you can see, I've blown it up almost two hand widths, not quite two hand widths. And we're going to start off by making, make sure it's soft, so I'll give it a squeeze. Make about a two and a half to three finger bubble. And then make a little small, see how that's very small, about the size of maybe a 260? Not a very large bubble. We're going to make that into a pinch twist, and then I'm going to split that pinch twist. Just like that. Wrap that around to secure it. Now we're going to another bubble the same size as this one here. Again, keep working it soft. You want it to be soft. 360s, the larger balloons in particular, making them soft will help prevent a lot of popping. So we're going to take and twist these two together. So Brent can grab the knot, twist it around a couple times, and then tuck it through to secure it. Now make it keep it soft. Make another about a two and a half to three finger bubble. One more, the same size as the one you just made. You need these two here. This is going to be our bug bunny's muzzle. That this part's the top of his head or her head. Twist those two together like that. Now again, keep it soft. Now I'm going to make about a two finger bubble. This will be the bunny's neck, followed by a pinch twist. Keep it soft again, and in about. A hand and a thumb bubble, another pinch twist, work it soft again, and another bubble the same size as this one here, just like that, twist that one together. And then what I've got left, I'm going to squeeze it soft again and then come back down the back side here, twist it into the pinch twist on the bottom, and any excess, pop it off, twist it around couple times, tuck it in to make sure it's secure. There's the beginning of our bunny. Now we've got a white 260 and I've blown this up, leaving a little more, about a hand and a half. We're not going to use all of that. What you want to do now is take the nozzle and twist it into where these two uh, come together like that. Now we're going to make three fold twists. The first two will be his cheeks. The last one will be his mouth. The one that's going to be his mouth, you make about that size. The other two, depends on how, if you want to have bigger cheeks, you can make them larger, smaller. I'm going to make them about, about three, three and a half fingers. So we've got one on one side. You'll need to make another one about the same size as that one there. So those are going to be our bunny's cheeks. And they need one that's going to be about, come out about the same size as these two here to make his bottom jaw for his mouth. So there we've got those three fold twists. Now with what you have left over, again squeeze it kind of soft, and you're going to go up to that split pinch twist that we made at the beginning, and then back down to make his eyes. So go up in, twist it into that one eye, keep it soft, and then go back down, twist it back into the base of the head, anything excess, pop it off, twist that around a couple of times to secure it, and then I'll tuck it up into the back of the head there, straighten all this up, and that is the beginning of our bunny's face. You can see we've got our two cheeks, the mouth, these are going to be the eyes. Now I've got for his nose, I've got the tail, the end of a 160, and as you can see, I've pulled a small bubble on it. You can use just to scrap if you want. And what you do for this, I've got about a three inch tail on it, give or take a little. Come from the bottom of the nose or the muzzle, push it up through there so that it's like that. And then I would take and wrap it around once. And then when you wrap it, because it came from the top, you're going to go around and then back up to the top. And what that does, that kind of pulls the nose up like that. 
hang on to it, and then stretch it back, twist it around the head a couple of times, and then the excess tuck up into the back of the head there out of the way. And then that, see how that tail, how it goes down into the muzzle there, and that pulls his nose up. So you can see the face beginning to take shape, take shape there. Now, I have got a Lilac 260. I have blown it up, leaving just a little bit left on the end. And I have inflated a white five inch round on the end. This one I've gone about four fingers. This is gonna be our bunny rabbit's cute little fluffy white tail. So blow it up if you want a big tail, make it bigger. If you want a small tail, make it smaller. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna twist where these two are tied together into the pinch twist at the bottom of our bunny, obviously, because his tail goes on the opposite end from his head. So there's our tail. These are gonna be our legs, but we're gonna set that aside for just a moment. I have our other white 260, and I've blown this up about halfway. These are gonna make his feet. Now these are optional. If you want, you can do the feet with the uh, lilac or not do feet and just have just four legs, but I like the feet, it makes it cute. So I'm gonna do about a four finger bubble, followed by a pinch twist, a little small round bubble about a finger or so, another pinch twist, and one more small round bubble just like that one, one more pinch twist, and then another bubble the same size as this one here. This is one foot, twist it all together, tuck the nozzle through to secure it. So you've got one foot and now you're gonna make another foot the same way. So you've got a four finger bubble, a pinch twist, small round bubble, a pinch twist, one more small round bubble, one last pinch twist, and then one more four inch bubble, about this, or four finger bubble, about the same size as that one. Twist it around a couple times. I'm gonna tuck it through and then pop off any excess you have there. And then what I'll do is I'll grab that little tail that I had from before, the, where the nozzle was, and tie those two together. Maybe. Now I'm gonna trim that excess off. And by tying those together, I know that's gonna stay. So these are our two bunny feet. Now we're gonna come back to our main part of the bunny here, and I'm gonna do about a hand and a thumb for a back leg. And then we're gonna twist in our feet right there. Then we're gonna make another bubble slightly, let me turn it so you can see it. I usually do it just a little bit longer than this one. So he kind of sits up. And we're gonna twist that one in up into the pinch twist at the base of his neck. Then we're gonna come back down with another bubble the same size as that one there. Back to its feet. Then I'm gonna make one pinch twist to help hold his feet out flat. And then one bubble the same size to come back to where we started at our bunny's tail. Any excess, get rid of. Twist it around several times to secure it, and I'll tuck that up inside his body out of the way. And now our bunny is like he's sitting down with his big front feet there. All we have left to do now is his ears. So I've got one more Lilac 260. I've blown this one up almost all the way, a couple of fingers left on the end. Really depends on how big you want your bunny's ears. I like him to have really big ears. You could blow it up all the way if you wanted. Just depends again, you know, how big you want your ears to be. I'm gonna tie this into a loop, trim off any excess. So I've got one big loop. Find the middle of it. Twist it into two equal size bubbles. Bring those into a figure eight, spin it around the time or two to secure it. And then this is gonna twist into that split pinch twist at the top of his head. And this is why I split it with the, um, you can leave it, it depends on how you want your ears. If you want his ears to go out to the side and then come down that way, you don't have to split it. But I like to split it because I like to turn his ears this way 
and because it's split, now you've got one small bubble on either side. If you did two pinch twists, it would be too bulky like that. Then I'm going to give his ears a little shape. I like to shape them a bit like that. And there you have a really cute bunny ready for Easter. There, wasn't that funny? It's, I guess it didn't take that long. It's really cute. And if you're looking to wow some people, make something, or this would be great for setting up for displays, for a, a leave behind at a party, special events, and things like that. Or if you have a place where you have more time and can, you know, take five or six minutes to make a balloon, this is a great bunny that'll really impress your clients and, you know, make a big statement. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to stay twisted.